I am back and safe after Hurricane Sandy, and I'm hosting two evacuated friends. Thank you to everyone for the kind messages and to Julian for the video about disaster relief on Tuesday. This was supposed to be a vlog about getting out the vote and U.S. Election Day approaching, how exciting it is, and talking about my first time voting in 2008. But in the wake of Hurricane Sandy, I'm taking a slightly different approach because things have become very serious. There are now many places where it's going to be incredibly difficult, discouraging, or even impossible for people to go vote on Tuesday. Early voting had to be closed in a lot of places, and some people might be having trouble with absentee ballots because the postal service has been disrupted. The deadline to request an absentee ballot has been extended until Friday in many affected counties, but the deadline to send it back remains Monday. And if, like me, you haven't even received your absentee ballot in the mail yet, this is particularly troubling. In a lot of places where people have no means of transportation to get to a voting center, if that voting center can even still exist, voting is simply not going to be possible. This means that for those of you who were not affected, it is crucial that that you go vote on Tuesday. This is shaping up to be a much closer election than previously predicted. So close that before Hurricane Sandy, it was already predicted that we wouldn't be getting the final results Tuesday night. And now with so many people in key voting districts who might not be voting, the outcome is going to be even more unpredictable. This is a historic election with a lot of important issues on the line, and it's not just voting for the president and their platforms. The states and districts have individual ballot initiatives to vote on on November 6th, and it is very important that everyone is aware of these so everyone can place an informed vote. To that effect, this coming Sunday and Monday evenings on livestream, the HPA will be hosting phone banking parties. We'll be training individuals to phone bank for marriage equality in Maine and chapters to phone bank for the Maryland DREAM Act. And you don't have to live in Maryland or Maine to participate, you can live anywhere in the world. We'll be on livestream phone banking, chatting, and rocking out with the lineup of special guests. It'll be the kind of party that voting should be. Why don't they make voting centers more like parties? It's such an underwhelming experience. Wouldn't you be more excited to go vote if they had like live music and free food and bounce houses and confetti that shoots out of cannons after you walk out of the booth. I want to make that happen. So come hang out with us and help us phone bank and get out the vote on Sunday and Monday. You do have to pre-register to be able to use the phone system that we have to use, so be sure to check out this link with info on how to do that. Also be sure to keep an eye on our Twitter and live stream on Tuesday, election day, whenever you can, because we will be having even more special guests and surprises throughout the day to pump up the excitement about getting out the vote. And last, I want to send out my sympathies once again again to anyone affected by Hurricane Sandy. I'm very fortunate not to have lost anyone or suffered any damage to my own home, but I was stuck in Lower Manhattan for a few days where they still don't have power. Many people in high-rises don't even have running water. They have no public transportation. Even the buses that have been running on occasion get cancelled at last minute due to safety reasons. Many of them are running out of food because even the ones who prepared didn't prepare for this long. And Lower Manhattan, while in a horrible state and feeling eerily post-apocalyptic was not the worst hit. Outer boroughs are suffering from similar issues and other states, especially New Jersey, have been hit very hard. Even now, the death toll continues to rise. If you are able to help in any way by donating money, volunteering your time, or giving blood, please do. I have links for different ways that you can help in the description box. Another way that you can help genuinely, and I'm not just trying to make a trite transitional phrase, is to vote. Making sure initiatives that deserve to get passed do so is one way that we can ensure that this nation continues to function in ways we can be proud of, in ways that save and protect lives. If you can vote, do. And if you can't, help remind people in your life to vote. And let them know about ballot initiatives in their area that could change the lives of millions of people in this nation. Be sure to check out all of the links for voter information, HPA's Vote 2012, and Sandy Disaster Relief in the description box. And Julian, I'll see you on Tuesday. Election Day.